Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Root Double Before Crime After Days Extend Edition. If you missed the last episode, you guys can click on the eye on the top of the video to watch the previous episode to get caught up. So, right now, Watase is now leading them. The group are headed for Area 5. Area 5, hooray! Finally! The card slot at the B2 security gate had been incinerated, so they went back up to B1 and opened the door that had remained shut up until now. <gasps> and what did we find? What do we find? A hallway. Watase checked his procyon as soon as it opened. Well, I guess it's pretty high. If it was a contaminated zone, then everything would have been for nothing. However, the reading was 3451 MSV within the safety standard. Yes! Wow, I can't believe you remembered that. Kazami's eyebrows twitched when she heard the survivors' names. But... Good thinking, June. June's voice also had a trace of hope to it. Though, both of them were still recovering from the shock. It seemed that they were slowly returning to normal. Yay! Thank God. Watase grinned slightly and walked through the connecting passageway. Hmm. And then entered Area 5. Ooh. Area 5 Outer Ring B1. The walls and the ceiling were both white, making the place a bright and sanitary block. Oh, it's good. If it's white, that means, like, there's no damage, there's no explosion, there's, like, no blood. That means this place is really safe, then. Hmm. The fact that it was overly clean and had a somewhat cold atmosphere was indeed reminiscent of a hospital. Really? Because it's overly clean? Yeah, old man, what do they do here? Uh, so why is it so clean? So do you know what they do here? I think that's a good idea. Hmm, let's check the thing. Oh, Hazami's maxed. I hope this is the correct choice. I mean, she doesn't seem like she's gonna give us Bad info. Alright. Perfect. Okie dokie. And what's the point of the... What? I don't understand what was the point of that. Hmm. But even though he'd been the one to suggest it, Watase was a bit concerned that Cosme wouldn't be with him. Hmm, why do you say that? I'm pretty sure that necklace was of you. He walked over to her and whispered. Okie dokie, Kazami. Yay! Hmm, hopefully we'll find something. Mm-hmm. Watase's group then headed for the inner ring right away. 
Yay! Area 5, Inner Ring, B1. Ina started talking to herself in a low voice as they walked down the halls. Oh man, I thought it was nice and clean and white. What happened to it? It's... It's dirty. Like an explosion this time. So that whole one part is clean, this whole part is dirty. Mm hmm. Okay, let's check. Oh, wow. Well, let's put them all up high. So, this is Natsuhiko Tenkawa, Luis Yui Sanomiya, and teacher in Mashiro Toba. Okay. Hmm. I forgot their names because they never really <laughs> come up that often. Uh, let's just go with this. Hopefully they're fine. <gasps> Achievement locked. Believers will be saved. Yay! There was a small ring of impatience in her voice. Her concern had probably been reignited after having come across yet another body. Plus two? Oh my gosh, that's a lot of pluses. Oh, uh, wait. Only those two? Yeah, no, no one should have favorites. Parents shouldn't have favorites. Makes the other um, siblings, you know, feel unwanted. <gasps> Is that the reason why? Because you think they'd make a cute couple and you're gonna be matchmaker here, Ina Sensei? It was at that point that June cut in. Oh. I forgot that uh, she knows them too. Yeah, how do you know them? You did? But there was something about her choice of words that caught Watase's interest. Yeah, Luis. No one really talked about Luis there. Yeah, her. The hot girl on fire. And that's why you have favorites, huh? Because you don't know who she is. A week ago? That sucks. Coming to a new school and then BAM, you're in this situation. I feel like she has like really high telepathy. But why had she run away from the rescue squad as soon as she saw them? Hmm. It made even less sense when one considered that her own teacher had been with them too. Um... Was she there with us? Hmm. I mean, I I thought we told her to stay back. So I don't know if she actually saw the teacher or not. So, so if even Teach doesn't know the answer to that. That's a weird question to ask. Well, I mean, unless she's like, screw this, I, I was just in a big conundrum with the uh, area and I don't want to do anything anymore ever again. But then she still goes to school. Your school is important. 
The group then picked up the pace. They checked all the rooms in the inner ring and found broken. Ooh. Though this was the senior fellow's laboratory division, the rooms didn't look much different from the labs and offices they'd seen in the other areas. They didn't find any survivors or AD. Oh man. But the last room they visited was clearly different from every other room in the facility. Oh. An infirmary with only two beds. Okay. I mean, it's not like anyone else would get sick, right? And wouldn't that be the first place people would go to to find AD? Yes. The group fired themselves up and began looking through the room. As expected, there were multiple medical devices lying around. An AED. That, that is a defibrillator. I think there's one in every... There should be one in every building, right? Um, I know schools usually have one. There was a medical bed, a small oxygen tank and respirator, and a blood transfusion kit. Huh. There was also something that looked like a giant closet. A refrigerator? Hmm, could it be? Right where they keep all the blood. Watase reached out for the closet and opened it. A cold wave blew out of it when he did. It seemed it was not a closet, but rather a refrigerator. Did you forget that it was a refrigerator? Inside were bags with red liquids, each bag labeled either A, B, O, or A, B. Hmm. Um, it, shouldn't there be like A, you know, the plus and minuses for positive and negatives? Blood packets? Yeah, for blood transfusion. The fridge was apparently used to store blood until it was needed for a transfusion. So this is basically your run-of-the-mill doctor's office. Like one you'd find in a hospital. Yeah, except... Um... I'm pretty sure they don't just keep bags of blood in refrigerators and doctor's offices. It's, pro it's stored somewhere else. But that was it. There wasn't any AD in it at all. Oh man! Watase gave up and closed the fridge. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, see? This would be the first place people would go. June held out an empty ampule and medical box. The researchers and other staff had most likely taken them and run during the evacuation. We found some stuff. That's true. That's also true. Just then, Ina spoke up. <gasps> you did? And we will find out in the next episode, everybody, of what Ina Sensei found. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Root Double Before Crime After Days Extended Edition. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye! Printer, mouth too full for words and you eat giggles. You're actually allowed to sit and eat, you know. I am. Oh wait, no, I am part of the staff. You're right. <laughs>